Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the mean, median, and the mode, which are the measures of central tendency. Before we implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this function means with some definition, and also with the help of simple example in Excel. Here we have the definition and the syntax. So mean is the arithmetic average of our values in a column. So we can use the average function to calculate the mean. So if you go by the definition, it says returns the average, that's the arithmetic mean of all the numbers in a column. And if I go to the other measure, that's a median. So it returns the median of a numbers in a column. So we have the syntax here, median and the column. So it should be a values in this column. And for the mode, we don't have any built-in function in DAX or in Power BI. So basically mode is uh, gives us the values that has repeated the most number of times, okay? So maybe an example would be easier to understand. So let's quickly go to Power, uh, Excel first and later let's try to do the same thing in Power BI. Here I have a simple example, which has students and the age of the students. Using this data, let's try to calculate the mean, median and mode, which are the measures of central tendency. We know that mean is the arithmetic average of all the values here. So what we can do is we can use average to calculate the average here and the average of all these values, that's the age. So hit enter. So I have the mean here, right? Which is pretty easy. And median, we know median is the value that separates the higher off from the lower off of the data, okay? So let's use the median function here. So Excel already comes with a built-in function. So let me use this function here. So 14, okay. So if I want to show this to you manually, what I can do is I can sort this in ascending to descending order, sorry, ascending order, sort by H, smallest to large it. So if you notice here, the 14 is the value that separates or the First, there is the higher off of the data from the lower off, right? It's a center. So median, we have 14. To calculate the mode, right? So Excel has a built-in function, but Power BI or DAX doesn't have yet. So we need to find a trick to calculate mode in Power BI. So mode is the value that has repeated most number of times. If you already notice here, right? 14 is the value that has been repeated several times, one, two, three, four times. So ideally, since it has repeated most number of times, your mode is 14. But let's do it here, mode, and input the values here. So we have the results here. So this is how we calculate mean, median, and mode in Excel. Now let's try to do the same thing in Power BI. So I have the same data set here. Uh, we have the students and the age. So using this data, let's try to calculate the mean, median, and mode. So we already discussed that mean is the arithmetic average of the values. So to calculate mean, let's, let's create a new measure here and call this as mean equal to, that's the average of the column age, right? So let me bring this to the card here. The first one. So 14.38, this is exactly what we noticed in Excel as well. To calculate the median, let me create one more measure and call this as median equal to median. So Power BI comes with a built-in function called median. And again, I'm gonna use the same column, fact age, and bring this to the values here. So I have the medium, that's the center value. And to calculate the mode, so it doesn't have a built-in function, I'll show you. So let me call this as mode. So if I type in mode, it doesn't have any built-in function. So what I'm gonna do is use some trick to calculate uh, the mode. We already discussed that mode is, is uh, the value that has repeated most number of times, right? 
So, and in Excel, we already check that 14 is the value that has repeated most number of times. But how do we do that in Excel, uh, in Power BI? So, we need to use some tricks, okay? So, we need to use some of the functions like add columns and calculate it, top end, etc. So, we already discussed all this function in our previous video. But again, I'm going to show you how to use it to calculate the mode, okay? This will be in detail, uh, please be patient, okay? So I'm not gonna rush through this function because it's a little tricky, okay? So first I'll go to the data and I'll show you how to use this particular function, okay? I'm gonna create a new table. This is purely to explain uh, how this how all this function behaves, okay? So I'm gonna call this as a new, uh, new table and then I'll call this as mode example, okay? So first thing is we already know that uh, the mode is the value that has repeated uh, most number of times, right? So, so to calculate that, we need to create some table, okay? So I'm gonna create a table using add columns function here. And the table, so it takes uh, the, uh, the following parameter or argument. So table, I'm gonna use the fact, okay? And then I'm gonna add one column called frequency, okay? Frequency and expression to calculate the value that has repeated max number of times or the most number of times, I'm gonna count the age, right? And hit enter, let's see what we get now. So I got the student, the age, and the frequency, right? So now what I'm gonna do here, I don't want the data frequency to repeat, repeat it several times here. So I'm gonna use here, instead of the entire table, I'm gonna replace this with values function. And then just instead of the entire table, I'm gonna take the fact age here. Okay, and close the parenthesis and hit enter. Let's see what we get here. So we got all the unique ages in this table. That's a fact table, 13, 14, 15, 16. And frequency, it's everything is showing eight, 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 and eight. So, which is incorrect. So to correct that one, I'm gonna use the calculate function. I already discussed how to use calculate function in previous video. If you haven't checked it out, please go and watch that video. So I'm gonna use calculate in front of the count fact age, okay? And then just cross the parenthesis. So now I should be getting the right values. So if you notice here, 13 has been repeated once, 14, four times, 15, two times, and 16, one time. If you read this data here, you already know the 14 has repeated the maximum number of times and hence the mode is 14, okay? But we need to show this in a measure, right? So how do we do that? So now to pick this one, I'm gonna use one more function here. I'm gonna call this a stop pen. And then I'll select one, the top one out of this table, okay? Top one and then comma. So this is a table and order by expression. How do I order this? Based on the frequency, okay? I'm gonna use frequency and order, ascending order, okay? And let's see what we get. Okay, I think I, I did a mistake here. Okay, I should be using the descending order because I need the top frequency, okay? So now I got the rows, right? Or the age that has been repeated, the max or the most number of times. So what I will do is I'll copy this syntax here, okay? Copy this and go back to my report here. And now I already created a mold, okay? Which is blank here. I'm gonna copy this here exactly to this uh, measures or this uh, bar here, function bar. And then now I'm gonna use min x function here, min x, okay? Just cop, uh, open the parenthesis. And this is the table, 
okay i have the table that's a first argument and then the second argument is expression so i'm going to use the expression is fact h and close the parenthesis and hit enter so now i should be getting the mode so if i drag this to this uh, card here i have the results mode so this is how we 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 have to calculate the mode in power bi because it doesn't have a built in function and then we need to use little trick so that's the reason i explained all this in step by step okay so this table which i created here the mode example is just for a explanation or a demo purpose so i can simply remove this okay i'll delete this one and it's no longer required okay so now if i go back here i have only one table and this is the one which i created i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or doubts please drop me a note in the comment section and i'm going to revert back to you i hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleague okay and thanks for watching have a great day